Who is CoffeeZilla, the crypto detective who says he got Sam Bankman fried to admit to fraud? Stephen Van Dyson, better known as CoffeeZilla, has made crypto sleuthing a full time gig. He played a role in Sam Bankman fried's downfall and says he got the FTX CEO to admit to fraud. Recently, CoffeeZilla feuded with Logan Paul over a crypto game he said was a scam. Stephen Van Dyson, better known by his YouTube alias, CoffeeZilla, found himself in the spotlight when he interviewed Sam Bankman Fried in late 2022, just weeks before the crypto magnate would be arrested and charged with fraud following the collapse of FTX. Not many outside of the industry knew who Van Dyson was, but he's been watched for years by Crypto Sleuths, an online community of amateur detectives who investigate scams and frauds in the scandal ridden market and try to hold bad actors accountable. In a video titled, I Accidentally Interviewed SBF and He Hated It, the self proclaimed I Accidentally Interviewed SBF and He Hated It, released a series of conversations with Bankman Fried over Twitter Spaces recordings that seemingly accelerated the demise of the former FTX chief. In the first interview, Van Dyson questioned Bankman Fried's claim he had no idea FTX's customer funds were wired to Alameda Research, his crypto trading arm. I had a lot going on. Bankman Fried said, before shortly leaving the space. In the second interview, Van Dyson questioned Bankman Fried's image as an incompetent leader of FTX. My opinion is that he told the wrong lie. Every time it comes to a hard point, the answer always seemed to be, I made an embarrassing mistake, Van Dyson said. In a third interview, Van Dyson claims he got the smoking gun when the Bankman Fried admitted that FTX's customer deposits were treated differently than outlined in the terms of service. That's an admission of fraud, Van Dyson said, and it spread like wildfire online in the days leading up to Bankman Fried's arrest. Bankman Fried is now awaiting trial on various charges of fraud, money laundering, and illicit use of customer funds. That includes his mother who was sold a scam treatment after she was diagnosed with cancer, Van Dyson said in a 2022 interview with The New Yorker. In an interview with CNN last year, Van Dyson said he began investigating dubious crypto and NFT projects because the industry crawling with bad actors. Illicit crypto transactions notched an all-time high in 2022, the same year Van Dyson gained over a million new subscribers on YouTube. I've always hated the fact that people in my life would get scammed by different get-rich-quick schemes, things like this, he said. The eggs were said to hatch into animal NFTs, and after hatching, would yield zoo coins on a daily basis that users could swap for fiat cash. But Van Dyson said there was no way for users to hatch the eggs or to cash out their holdings. Paul suggested he would take legal action against Van Dyson's claims, warning of very real repercussions in a now-deleted YouTube video. My opinion, yeah, right. A spokesperson for Paul declined Insider's request for a comment, though the YouTuber has since apologized and walked back those threats, according to a recent tweet from Findizen. Findizen declined Insider's request for further comment on his work, saying he was burned out by speaking with the media. Video article source, Jennifer Soar from Yahoo News We must also remember innocent, until proven guilty by law.